Okay, so here's another Deja Vu deck review. Um, this is another re-release from Dan and Dave. This time it is the new fan backs. Um, not, I, I read somewhere that this is their favorite back design. They think this is the most elegant back design ever. Uh, I think. I might be wrong, so I don't want to quote them on that. Um, but like I said, deja vu because, bang, this has already been, oh, freaking stand up. Really? Ta-da! These have already been released by Bicycle in their Vintage Design Series, the new fan back circa 1894. Okay, uh, Dan and Dave decided to take creative liberties on the box and totally change it up, which, um, again, this wasn't obviously the original box, but uh, this might have been, so we'll see uh, if anyone knows for sure. I mean, this is going with the, sort of like the steamboats with the Made in USA and Big and Bicycle and Big, 808 Bicycle, then the Dan and Dave logo. Now the backs are full backs, which are nice, a lot nicer than the Heritage backs, which I don't know what the heck's going on here. Uh, all the information on the Heritage series, which apparently they've stopped. I have all of them that are available. Number one, number two, number three, number five, six, and seven. I believe there was supposed to be nine but uh, they never produced, and there's no intent on producing all nine. And then Theory 11, just to kind of jump on the bandwagon here real quick, or jump on this video, I should say. So these are the Dan and Dave ones. Theory 11 put out these ones, the Heritage Design Series. There's the Acorn back, the Automobile Number 2 back, Lotus back, and the Nautic back. Okay, similar box designs to the Dan and Dave, so that's really nice. Back to these, um, the box is embossed, these boxes are not. Okay, so Dan and Dave really likes the embossing. Um, there is a hint of, of metal on the box. Okay, now uh, we'll get to the card. Now I'm going to do a comparison between these and the old ones that uh, were part of the vintage design because they are both... I mean, both these decks are identical, just a color difference. Same with the Dan and Dave's, okay? They're the same, just different colors. So let's compare them to this deck that came out uh, in the Vintage Design series. Now, something odd about a regular deck of cards that's somewhat fairly available, readily available, is you get a blank card, okay? And then you've got the, uh, let me just focus on a closer plane. Here we go. We've got the bicycle... Cincinnati, nice big, okay. Um, then we've got standard faces all the way through, which I wasn't a huge fan of. And then you've got two jokers that are identical. So it's a fairly standard uh, box deck. I think there's a double backer, that's what's missing. So it is kind of uh, pertaining to magicians. It's, it's good for everyone. So let's have that back showing there. And now to move on to the Dan and Dave re-release. Here is their red. It is much darker, almost like a brown in comparison. Okay, just just compare the two there. Okay, it's a maroonish red. Maroonish, that's a new word. Okay. And you've got the uh, jumbo jokers as well. Now, Dan and Dave. Come on. Look at this ace. This is the nice ace. This is a standard ace. What the heck? Okay. Why, 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 why? Go standard. Why? Why? Anyway. Uh, standard, standard, standard. And, oh, yes. Standard. 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 Focus. Standard. There. Standard, 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 all the way standard. Wow, look at that. So much creativity. Oh, yes. Then we've got the ad cards here. Let's just throw our name and logo everywhere and make it our deck. No. Don't like them. Um, I, I like the darker 
version compared to this, like neon red or orange. But um, no, not happy that they just threw their name on a deck and re-released it. I mean, the price was right. That's the only thing that made me want to buy these is the fact that they were like five bucks a deck. Um, here's the blue version. And again, the blue is almost the same. Let's take a quick peek inside. Now these are not ivory finish, they are uh, cambric finish. Okay, oh, yeah, I thought one card was out of order from the deck. And again, they're awesome ad cards. And uh, these ones here. So there is a slight difference. The Dan and Dave version is darker. It's almost like a purple. And the other ones that were released are, uh, are a little bit lighter. Now the Dan and Dave artwork is also slightly different. Um, the lines are thinner. I don't know. There's a slight difference to it. Um, I don't know. Just kind of crappy that they didn't really do much to the deck. Uh, just threw their name on it and put it in an embossed box. Not a huge fan of that kind of thing. If you're going to uh, reproduce it, then try to stay true to the original. Um, I might be totally shooting myself in the foot with this. Like, uh, this might be the original box. I doubt it, but I knew it wasn't embossed. But uh, the look to it might have been the original box. Um, this style seems to be the heritage, you know, um, look and feel. You know what I mean? Uh, so that could be true to the original, but just changing this, adding this, adding your court cards does not make it really, uh, your deck. I don't know. I hate getting on these rants because I know people out there are going to like think I'm crazy and stupid and whatever, but just come on, like do something, keep the backs if you want, but add new faces, something to the pips, something to make them more collectible than just re-releasing them, embossing the box and throwing Dan and Dave on it. I don't know, not a huge fan. Um, again, I've got a few for trade if anyone out there doesn't have them yet and doesn't want to pay shipping fees and wants to trade with me instead, let me know. Anyway, that's my other multiple deck review of the Dan and Dave new fan back re-release of the re-release of the new fan backs that were originally released in 1894. All right, thanks.